Hey, what's going on fellow money lovers? Let's go through some pocket change. It's another beautiful day to bill search. It is a wonderful Saturday. Let's start off with the series 2013 $10 note. See what we come across. See if anything's worth more than face value, anything error note related, fancy serial number, all that good jive. So let's get right to it. These are the post early 2000s redesigned $10 notes. They are commonplace now, so I won't touch too much on the graphics. Uh, we'll go right through them. Nothing the serial number really beat up. Things been folded. It's almost torn. It's been folded so hard. Uh, it's been pretty beat up. You can see the circulation life on this $10 note. Nothing in the serial number and nothing jumping out on me as far as the uh, print's concerned. Eh, 2017 bill. Only difference in these $1 notes is, of course, uh, the signatures of the Secretary of Treasury and the Treasury of the United States. Nothing popping out on the serial number there. Also nice and beat up, so condition leaves a lot to be desired. As you know, with anything collectible, condition's going to detract from value if it's nice and beat up like that $1 note. Yeah, one, two, three, so on the way to a broken ladder, but missing enough digits to not jump for joy. In the Facebook group, there was a bunch of posts recently with a lot of broken ladders found, so that's really awesome. Keep posting online, sending me emails to kyle at varietyairs.com or visit varietyairs.com. Leave a comment. 2013 $1 note, so only difference there is the series date between that previous $1 note, not the one we just looked at, that was 2013 as well, but the first one. Once again, nothing different as far as graphics for $1 notes in 60 years. So <laughs> nothing to talk about there. Sometimes you'll get, sometimes you'll get some issues around uh, the more intricate line work of the Great Seal and around these Roman numerals for 1776, but not in this case. We'll do a quick closer glance there. Nothing there. And 2013 as well. Got a nice booger mark or something down there. Now these over inks, this one doesn't coincide with this serial number, but this over ink here on the third digit from the left is really common on 2013 notes. Talked a bunch about that over the years. I won't touch on that any further, but it is so common. I would not say to hold on to it as far as an error or over ink or anything like that. Yeah, folded up, nice and creased up, beat up $1 bill as well so none of these have been really great to look at this one has definitely been wet at a point how do i know that this bleeding of the ink around here that's usually from it sitting with another bill and the other bill was wet as well and kind of transferred some ink over from the front of that note to the reverse of uh, this note that we just passed up 2017 one dollar note as well Nothing crazy in the serial number. Things to keep an eye out for would be birthday notes. You know, with it having a 2013 on the end, if we would have had, say, uh, you know, August 22nd, 0822, 2013, that would have been a birthday note. But unfortunately, we're not close enough here. Let a little bit of wet ink transfer down here. That's pretty common amongst notes, so... Just keep an eye out. If it is excessive where it's obscuring a portion of the note, then I would say that's a, an ink error, ink transfer error, and I would hold on to it as it would be worth a few bucks over face value, in this case $1. There we go. A nice little low serial number. So my rule of thumb personally is unless it has four or more zeros uh, in the front of the serial number, I don't consider it a low serial number. In this case, lower serial number. 2013 at a huge run, so serial number 3,617 in this case uh, is a pretty low number comparatively. So I really like that. I would have loved for it to have better condition. It's definitely been wet. It's all crinkled up. It's beat up, but that's all right. I still like it a lot for uh, what it is, a fancy serial number, low serial number there. And I'm going to set that aside. Here's a double year note. So these are, you know, I mean, you could call it a date note in some weird format, 1584, and then the day is 19, the month is December the 12th. 
uh, month of the year. But in most cases, if not every case that you talk to a collector or numismatist, they're going to want you to have month, day, year. But in this case, it's a, a span of years if you really want to kind of reach from 1584 to 1912. Uh, nothing really crazy there. If we went and collected every double date note, you'd have hundreds of them in every series. So they're not really collectible unless that's just something you like to hold on to. But that's the beauty of this hobby or really any collectible hobby is, hey, if you like to collect, you know, the same copy of Supernatural Volume 1 500 times, you can do that. So... You know, I like to hold on to trinary notes. A lot of people think those are silly. Uh, so, you know, I love star notes as well, and some people think those are silly. So collect what you want. In that case, I think they're not really something to hold on to as far as double year notes. Here we go again. Let's see. January 31st, and we're not in the year 8,962 yet. So no date note there. Really beat up $5 note, but not the worst we've seen in this banknote search. A eh, little bit of smudge here, but I would, it, yes, you're getting some bleed through, but this bill has been wet. So, you know, as far as like an over inking or something like that of this seal bleeding through here, I wouldn't call that an error, seeing as how there is damage to the note that probably caused that. Really crisp $20 note, 2017A. So a newer set, but yet still a few years old. Really good condition, best condition bill that we've come across in this bill search. Nothing in the serial number, nothing different about these 20s than the ones in the last 15, 20 years, except for the signatures. And I have had people send me um, questions, messages about these here. These little marks here, if you look, they're like little ticker marks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's from a money counting machine currency counting machine. Generally at the bank, you'll see them run usually in sets of three. This one's a little bit lighter, uh, but it's simply where the bill sits in a stack. It grabs it and pulls it over like that and counts it. Uh, so I'm sure you've seen those turnstile uh, versions of, of currency counting machines at banks and stuff like that. That's all that is. So not collectible. I would say if it crimped or damaged the bill in a uniform pattern with those teeth that grab it, then okay, maybe an error. Uh, but in this case, not so much. I didn't see anything else jumping out on that bill either. Eh, getting down there. Once again, double year note, 1921, uh, year 368. So it's a real reach. I have a lot of people ask me about that. Double year dates, I would say, are not collectible, really. Unless you're talking a span of, say, like World War II or uh, a world historical event or something like that, the span of somebody's life then okay, I would say collectible, but just random years, meh, not so much. Really good looking 10, but nothing to call home about. Yeah, quad eights right here. A uh, very good picture was sent to me about two weeks ago, maybe a week and a half ago, with quad eights and quad fours. So I really appreciate you sending me that uh, picture of that find. In this case, not as lucky uh, with all these other random digits here. So nothing collectible in that serial number. Damaged up back, nothing there. And last but not least, eh, one, two, three, four, five. So if we would have swapped around here or there, we would have had a broken ladder. Got ourselves kind of like a white-eyed Washington there. Little bit of damage to the front of the note from circulation. Nothing jumping out on the back. So the only thing we held on to in this bill search is a nice lower serial number. It's a good fancy serial number, I think. Really beat up, though. I would have wished for it to be in better condition, but I'm still stoked about my find. I'm gonna get it into a plastic protective sleeve to keep it in, well, the crappy condition it is, but to let it not get any worse. But let me know what you've come across in your bill search and coin searches lately in the comments below, and keep an eye out for more videos around price values for Lincoln cents, nickels, and US half dollars. Thank you for coming to the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.